Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. The murder-suicide involving Javon Belcher is sending shockwaves across the country. But it's a story that is more common than you may realize. And Sherry Palmieri joins us now with more on how domestic violence homicides here in San Diego and nationwide are on the rise. Sherry? That's right. You know, it's an alarming trend. Here in San Diego County alone, there have been about two dozen domestic violence homicides this year. And nationwide, 20 domestic violence homicides just in the last six days. Experts say it's a story that is all too familiar, yet often preventable. I hope it's a wake-up call uh, because Jovan Belcher's not unique. Casey Gwynn just returned from the global summit to end violence against women in Brazil. His return to San Diego coincides with the murder-suicide involving NFL player Jovan Belcher. The Kansas City chief linebacker fatally shot his girlfriend Saturday, then killed himself. We've only heard the tip of the iceberg so far. Belcher is the latest among several players and NFL retirees to die from self-inflicted gunshot wounds in the past couple of years. Some say head injuries might be linked to Junior Seau's suicide last May. But Gwynn says speculation that Belcher's violence could also be linked to head injuries just doesn't add up. A murder-suicide is not just about hopelessness. It's about power and control and then it's about hopelessness. Gwynn says the fact that it is being reported that Belcher and his girlfriend were constantly arguing clearly suggests that this is a case of domestic violence. No relationship goes from happy, healthy, and functional to murder-suicide overnight. It never happens. There's always a pattern. There are certain red flags, Gwynn says, are almost always present in domestic violence cases. Has somebody that you cared about been strangled? Have they been choked? Does their partner have access to weapons? Is he threatening suicide? Is he threatening homicide? Gwynn says he's convinced these same signs were present in Belcher's life. We're going to find out that people knew things and they didn't do anything about it. He hopes other people will not make the same mistake. If someone you know is in an abusive relationship, Gwynn says you should go directly to them and tell them these five things that can save their life. I'm afraid for you. I'm afraid for the safety of your children. You don't deserve to be treated like this. There's help available, and I'm here for you whenever you want to talk. Now, if you know someone who is being verbally, emotionally, or physically abused, you are urged to call the Family Justice Center for help. The number is 866-933-HOPE. And stay with us, because coming up in sports, we will hear from the Chargers team chaplain and from an a NFL player who weighs in on what has happened. Back to you, Susan. Sherry, such important information tonight. Thank you so much.